The pandemic has taken its toll on many fundraisers and drives. Blood donations are no different. But in the summer months, especially this summer, the national need is dire. Here's how you can help. For Adam Landy, it's a moral obligation. So I try to come uh, donate uh, every 60 days, every two months. Um, as a way to give back to my community. A family member of his needed a blood transfusion a few years back. So now he tries to send his blood to someone in need locally. I get the updates on the app of where my blood has gone. It's gone uh, to Johns Hopkins, to Sibley, um, the local hospitals, University of Maryland uh, ho hospitals. And Landy, being an O negative donor, is exactly who the Red Cross needs. We're in a critical state. Missy Bruce, executive director of the Red Cross in Central Maryland, says across the country there is a major shortage. During the summer months, we do see an uptick in the number of people who are treated in trauma centers. And unfortunately, most of those patients need multiple units of blood to fight that, to fight that traumatic incident. They had to make safety changes once the pandemic hit to keep staff and donors safe, but at least they're back up and running. We take your safety very seriously at the Red Cross. They're even offering incentives like $10 Amazon gift cards and an entry into a drawing where you could win free gas for a year. But for Landy, it's just what you do to help. I hope it ends up in someone's arm and someone's body. Uh, it's very good O blood. I guess I'm a universal donor, so I, hopefully it helps somebody. University of Maryland Medical System's Medical Director of Transfusion Services, Dr. Fontaine, says in our area we have enough blood for now, but nobody should get comfortable. We are getting what we need, so we are okay. It's at the national level that the, the shortage is tough, and we, we replenish as we use blood. Now, the Red Cross hosts blood drives almost every day. To find one near you, just head to redcross.org.